Taurus, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Taurus, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Taurus, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love, tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my loves, for your support of the channel. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about your energy. Uh, heavy Two of Swords. If you're not familiar with Tarot, Two of Swords is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's kind of like, it's an energy where you want, you really don't want to logically or physically do anything For, out of usually fear of doing it wrong, okay? Now, example, when I came into your energy, it was like I was in my prayers, you know? So you might be really heavily into meditation and prayer right now, having those moments with the most high. Um, but it was like I came in and you're like, listen, talking to the most high, you're like, listen, I know, but fix it and I'll take it from there. You know, that's how I felt in your energy. That's how I feel in your energy. It's like, I, I, I understand all that. I'm not saying I didn't do this. I'm not saying I did do this. I'm saying it don't even matter at this point. Just fix it and I'll take it from there, okay? And that's how I feel in your energy. But unfortunately, Taurus, that's not how this thing called life works, you know? Um, there is some things that's required uh, for chapters, for cycles, for uh, edification, you know, for things to be considered complete, okay? So I pulled, I, I wanted in your energy from you, I wanted angels and ancestors because I want it to be coddled, you know, in your energy. I want it to be held. I want it to be loved. I want it for somebody to say, you know, I understand. And, you know, I wanted somebody to acknowledge my pain. I wanted um, my angel to come down and say, um, it's okay, you know, just uh, and bless me for my suffering, you know, bless me for my long suffering, you know, bless me for my pain. Uh, it, I wanted these things in your energy, and I know you do too, but I, I, I cannot as as a reader, I, I can't, I don't want to lead you down a false path. There's nothing wrong with wanting these things, but it doesn't change the reality of the circumstances of where you are in your, in your chapter cycle, um, journey, you know, of this thing called life. You know what I'm saying? So I pulled the wisdom. Now we'll see what comes out. If you still need the angels and ancestors, I'll pull that too. But I want wisdom at this point. We Sometimes it's not about, wisdom is not, remember, just about knowledge. I know you're taking accountability for your past and your energy right now, but now what to, what to do, you know, what to do is, is where you are right now, okay? So let's see. Ooh. Can I have Taurus, please? Hello. <laughs> Taurus, I ain't laughing at you. I swear I'm not. I'm laughing with you. You said I don't give a damn. I just want to do life. <laughs> I don't care about none of that. I just want to do life. This just I just need one reset. And even if you had 10 before, this time I need one reset. I'm telling you, I'll take it from here. That's where you are. You're like, listen, I just need one reset, one reset, and I'll take it from there. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm not asking for 
a kajillion dollars, but just give me a clean credit report. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it from there. It's like, oh my goodness, Taurus, you are not playing. You are so far in your future, but we got to slow it down a bit. Breathe is coming in behind that. We got to, you got to, you got to reel this thing in. <laughs> Oh, this ain't even funny. Let me pull these angels and ancestors for you, baby. Oh, my goodness. You are not playing and you're not budging off, off of this either. I thought I was going to be able to come in and talk to you a little bit and hopefully shift that perspective a little bit. Even earlier when I was doing the intro, um, what fell out was the here and now, like focus on here, right here, right now. And you're you're that's the you're not denying you're here now what you're saying is take me from here right now <laughs> hello take me from here right now okay but in, in hindsight you know I, and i know this is serious baby but we gotta be lighthearted a little bit okay because it's kind of like you're saying, you know, make, give me perky boobies again, but let me keep the knowledge I have with the saggy ones. You know what I'm saying? Come on. It don't work like that. We've all been young and dumb, you know, but they go together. Okay. They, there's a reason for that. There's a, there's a reason for that. Let me have Taurus's angel. Hello. <laughs> I can't look. Unleash the wild within. See, the funny thing is I wanted this for you and it's agreeing with you. And what you wanted was this and it's giving you what you needed to hear. Isn't that funny how that, that's because that's my fault. I should have been obedient. How can I talk to you about obedience if I'm not being obedient, right? But God forgive me. I'm glad I corrected that. So what we have here is a she-wolf. Literally unleash the wild within. Like tap into that dark side. Tap into those uncomfortable, um, what do you call it? Uncomfortable, mm, not what do you call it? Um, safety zones? I don't know how to say that. Uncomfortable, your comfort zone. Um, woo, Lord, you're going to have to help me with my words. Uh, uh, coming out of your comfort zone, okay? Now, you may say, what do you mean comfort zone? You don't know my story. You know, I went through this, 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 and this, right? And I agree. Nobody's denying your journey. Not here, not before, not tomorrow. I'm not saying that you're not entitled to your journey. What I'm saying is that where you are right now, it requires some type of hands-on involvement. It's a little bit more than just you wake up and, you know, uh, your problems magically are disappeared or that, um, uh, you know, trauma has magically healed. OK, uh, those financial burdens m magically are paid, you know, uh, it, it, that's that's just not what that's not happening right now. Right now, not to say that that doesn't happen. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you specifically, where you are right now, it requires a hands-on involvement, okay? Even the Shaolin master has his dukes up. You understand? Being graceful in movement and action. Movement and action, okay? Because you're coming out of that comfort zone with the elder, move beyond ancestral patterns, okay? The regular is not regular, but here's that divine empress energy with the lady, okay? You're still a divine uh, creator, okay? Creation is in you. So you have the ability um, to create change from where you are right now. But energetically, you're saying, I just want a new life. I just, this is what I want. This is what I want. I want what I want when I want it, how I want it. And I know I wanted the other stuff before, but this time I'm for real. And that's not how, you know, that's not how this works, my love. All right. So what we want to do is breathe, relax. Okay. Relax. What you've been doing, meditate, 
praying things that you have been doing, okay? But you want to do it in a way that you're, number one, releasing and um, freeing uh, some space to receive, okay? Because in those moments of solitude, in those moments of solitude, in those moments of feeling nobody gets it, nobody understands, nobody feels my pain, nobody, 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 nobody. I mean, you know what I'm saying? In those moments, it's up to you to get up sometimes, not all the time, but this time it's dukes up, dukes up. You understand? Because you're in a really funny or funky um space and time, I guess I could say it like that with this TikTok, you know, you do have an opportunity. You just don't like it. That's how I feel with this. I feel that you have some options, but you don't like them. You know, you don't like it. Okay. There is a way out, but you might not want to go down that street. Okay. There is a way through, but it might look nasty and you don't want that stuff on your clothes. You know, that kind of thing, all right? But you know, you know, you know more than you let on or you're saying, because I know, I wanna be, I don't think I deserve to have to suffer again to get out of suffering. It's like, that's how you, you're you presenting this, you know, in your prayers. And you have every right to do so because that's the beauty of a personal relationship with a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, most high God, for, for real. Um, I don't even know what deck I want for this energy. Let's go with the crow. Give it to me straight, right? You know the crow is going to give it to us raw. But I like this. I like this that I was literally an example of your story just now. Just by switching the cards, you know, I did what I thought was best and that's not what was best, you know, and I hope you pay attention to that and I don't mind being used. That's what I'm here for as a vessel, you know, giving these messages. So sometimes I do have to get humbled, you know, and for, for my own sake and for the sake of whoever's, you know, um, a sign to hear me if you found this message or the message found you as they say right excuse the noise outside guys I didn't close the window I hope they're not going to stay let me have the core for Taurus the page just a little bit just a little bit page energy just give me a little bit give me a little bit let me get one I'll take it from there I will take it from there. That's what you're saying. But the page energy is small. You know, it is small. So you're never satisfied with a page energy. Taurus, come on. You know, we talk here. You're a divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So uh, this is something, it's like sprinkles in the bucket. You know, what do you call it? Something small to a giant. You, you understand what I'm saying? But that's what you're saying. You're saying, I just need a little bit. But the, Right now, where you are, you have to find balance in it. Find balance in it, okay? Find balance where you stand, the here and now. Now, if you're saying, I'm standing in a crock of crap, you know, then uh, put some of that stuff under your nose so you don't have to smell it. And then start with just the the, the blessings of, I'm, at least I made it through uh, that storm. I made it out of the fire, but I'm landed in crap, you know, but I ain't in the fire no more. Sometimes you just literally have to celebrate your accomplishments, your achievements, your existence. Um, the fact that you were able to take a step, even if it was only a thought, a thought is a step. You know, it don't seem like it in your physical world, but when we actually even process things in our mind, take accountability in our mind, even before we take action, that is a step, okay? So that needs to be celebrated, all right? Don't be so hard on yourself as if like nothing is happening because you do have some stuff going on here, all right? What's crowning Taurus that can assist them right here, right now? What's hanging over their heads? 
the Knight of Swords, communication. And there's the Ten of Cups. Speaking to existence, what actually will completely fulfill you? Okay? You know, Taurus, in the past, some of your ups and downs was, like I said, a bit um, stubborn. You know, sometimes we as people want what we want when we want it, right? But it was in that moment. If you actually look at the totality of what happiness means to you, what would that be? And then speak that into existence. So it's not like I just want to hit the lottery, but I want to hit the lottery and, um, I don't know, open up a cancer research center or... I want to hit the lottery and blah, 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 blah. You, you understand? There's more to it. Take it to the next step. Speak that into existence and it'll fulfill you, believe it or not, because it helps you get back your mojo. You know, your mojo is to depleted in this energy. I have to say that. I feel very tired. Um, I feel disheartened but you know we've been struggling with your emotions for a while now okay but it's time it's time to bring this to a close so expand on your manifestations yes um i want to be married but i want to be married and live in this type of uh environment or maybe travel to these kind of places or add to it add to when you're doing your manifestations or your your prayers or your meditation and things like that don't just say i want and then stop there you know um go into some details because in life, if you think about it, you've had plenty of what you wanted. It might not have been how you thought it was going to be, but that's because you maybe never expanded in your prayers. You just got what you asked for. So now let's get a little bit more detail in what you're asking for. What's working against Taurus right now? The Hermit. We talk, I, I opened this talking to you about wisdom, the application of knowledge. Taurus, the hermit is wise. This is Virgo energy. And don't get caught in the signs though. You know, feel the energy, okay? The hermit is wise not because the hermit reads a lot of books and that's it. Has a lot of knowledge and that's it. The hermit is wise because the hermit recognizes, first of all, that they're in a place that's not conducive to comfort, meaning this hermit is in a storm, okay? Now, history has taught this hermit or books or life experiences, whatever the case is, what happens in this storm. Therefore, this hermit follows divine guidance, the light, and takes one step at a time out of this storm. The storm itself cannot be changed. It's a part of protocol. So for, for lack of better terms, it's the weather. It's the weather. You understand? But now this uh, hermit is saying, let me get out of this mess. Let me get on out of here. You know? And basically it's applying the knowledge wisdom is the application of the knowledge the application of it not just knowing but doing okay which ties to the doing unleashing the wild movement and action things like that okay what's coming in with that is the three of wands and this is what i was saying too coming into your energy when you feel like it's been enough you're saying listen i didn't did my part I'm waiting for my ships to come in. I've done my part. This is the three of wands energy. I've done what I was supposed to do. I'm just waiting for my ships to come in. But it's working against you because evidently what you think and what the most high thinks of where you are in your journey are two different things. So you think you're saying I've learned um, or, or I know, but are you doing what you know? You saying I've done, but have you really done enough? You know, things like that. 
this is but to be honest Taurus a lot of this three of wands feels like to me you've done somebody else's work I'm not gonna lie so let me just put this in the um how can I say that uh siblings let's just say I don't know you you, you and your siblings have chores right so because you're doing you're doing your chores and then you start doing whatever needs to be done where you are in that moment. But that chore may be assigned to your sibling. So let's say your chore is to do the dishes, okay? But you in the mode, you come in, you do the dishes, you wipe the counter, you wipe the stove, you sweep and mop the floor, you did the whole kitchen. You understand? So now uh, mom comes home, well, nobody vacuumed the rug. And Taurus, you're saying, but I did the whole kitchen. You understand? You did, Taurus, but were you supposed to? That was voluntary. You still got to do the rug. Do that make sense? Let's see where this is coming from. What, what brought this on for Taurus? The Three of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Some of you may be in or not, uh, you tried therapy, I have to say this, and maybe um, it was intense, I'll say it like that, it's been intense, I have to say that, yeah, um, extremely intense. Um, I don't know if you stopped therapy or they haven't really given you any tools yet to help you process the emotions that's been awakened. Um, but that's what I would look into if you're still in therapy. Ask your therapist for some tools to process the emotions that are being awakened through the process, okay? Um, second thing is um, work situations. I have to say that. You know, sometimes teamwork, making the dream work is a dream where you are. You know, I, I, I mean, it is what it is. Um, there's a lot of miss... How can I say that? Miss... Uh, leveled, misleveled, imbalanced, I guess I say imbalanced. There's just a lot of stuff, Taurus, that you were doing, or it seems like that was your responsibility, or maybe you felt like it was your responsibility, that it should have been shared. And it wasn't, but now that it's not over, but I guess you've kind of draw a line of what you're going to do. And it's like, nobody is still stepping up or nobody is giving you, I guess your, um, accolades for what was done. There's also a heavy third party energy. I have to say that with relationships, um, maybe you're processing, um, there's grief here. Maybe you're processing a trend. There's so much here, Taurus. God darn. But that's, that's actually the whole point of this here. Nobody is denying that you've been through many, many, many things. I talk about you all the time being dragged through the mud, okay? Nobody is denying that. But where you are today is some, just sometimes we don't have space for the past or the future. Sometimes we only have space for the here and now. And this is one of those times, okay? This is just one of those times. Sometimes it's just one day at a time. Not about yesterday, not about tomorrow, just one day at a time, all right? And you're looking at it like, that's how I, that's what I've been doing. That's how I made it this far. And so at this point, I feel like since I've learned this and I stopped that and I started doing that and I changed that and I separated from that and, you know, so where is my abundance? Where's the fruit? of my labor and right now to be honest Taurus the fruit of your labor number one is your independence and freedom I have to say that um, number two even though you didn't come out unscathed um, you are out and uh, number three um, you still ha have to acknowledge all of the work energy effort time um, blood sweat years and tears that you put into something that wasn't serving even though you know you chose it I mean, we got to keep it a hundred. Okay. So let's see where we going. Future in it. Hello. Yeah. You got to let it go. You got to see 10 of wands and got to <laughs> and let it die. I, you know, it, it can't get 
this is it right here. That's where we're going with this. You, there, the Ten of Wands, you got to remember, are not somebody gathering other people's problems or a whole picking up a whole bunch of problems all at one time. You know, this energy picks up one at a time in in the journey. So walking down the road, see, see an issue. Oh, I can deal with that. Boom, pick one up. Oh, I'll take care of that. Boom, here's another one. I got you. Here's another one. So to a point that you're carrying 10, you know, and it's just weighing you down. Instead of, even if you did pick it up and it helped you in that moment or you helped somebody in that moment, then when it's done, you got to put it back down. But you're carrying and carrying and carrying and carrying, you know, and that is stopping. That's what's coming into your future. It's this journey is forcing you to let something go um, or no longer, you know, uh, carry these problems around with you because you have to put them down so that they can die. You know, that way you're making room for this new life that you're asking God for. Okay, death brings rebirth, right? Now we can have some independent fulfillment and, and success, nine of cups, all right? Now you can say, I'm happy, I'm content, I'm satisfied, I'm good, you know? And now you can either get in alignment with your divine partner or get in alignment with your destiny with this lover's energy here. This is a learning process for you, Taurus. I have to say that, especially with the power of your tongue. There's heavy manifestation energy in here. I, it came through with that Knight of Swords. You might be a master manifester and or you might be a master manifester and don't know it. So sometimes we don't realize the power uh, that comes out of our mouth. We speak things into existence. So just as you have the power to speak things into existence, you also have the power um, to release things. You have the power to let go or to bring change. You know, that same manifestation power um, is that's in your tongue. You have the uh, both ways. So don't think it's just for calling in. It's also for letting out. You know what I mean? So what we have is some work coming in, Eight of Pentacles, because this is a hands-on part of your journey, all right? But it's aligning you with what you want. It's aligning you with what you uh, what is best for you today, right here, right now. Even if it's not about love for you, it could just literally aligning you with your with your angel, you know, on the other side, holy and divine, assisting you with this thing called life, but you want to be on the same page, you know? Um, and that's what this is. The only thing is that your mind, though, these swords are killing you. You, If you have air in your chart, your logic the air in your chart right now is giving you a run for your money. So breathe through that, you know, that overthinking the thought of the thinking of the thought of the thinking of the thought. It's making you feel trapped because you're seeing so many things against you and it's not leaving you room um, to see what maybe is your way out or you don't want to see your way out because this is toilet paper torture. You know, it is, it's toilet paper torture. So it could be something you are holding on to or something that you think is holding on to you that you can't change just yet, you know? So let's say if you have small children, that's not, so you can't just say, hurry up and grow up, right? If you're taking care of maybe an elderly parent, you can't say, just hurry up and get better. You know, that things like that, some things you can't change in that moment. Time has to play a part with it. But what you do have the power of is making yourself peaceful and comfortable in that season as much as possible. And that is fruit. That is abundance, Leaning into divine timing, leaning into your patience, you know, leaning into that trust of your intuition. That is fruit, okay? But you're because you're looking for tangible, it's like, where is the lottery? But what this is t saying is that that wouldn't help you. It, what would make it, the kids would still be young. Your parents would still be sick or you would still have to, you know, it's if you're saying I don't have these problems, all I need is a couple of dollars, then you have no problems. I'm just saying. OK. All right. So remember, you're manifesting what really is bliss and fulfillment. Why did my light go out? 
I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. I got another. Okay. Um, bliss and fulfillment. What's total happiness to you? All right. And let's get your mojo back. Let's get that confidence up. Let get that focus, that passion of knowing that the fact that you walked in the room and anything you touch is successful. Anything that you think of will succeed. Okay. Period. Because you are representations of what it's like to be that divine feminine or that divine masculine. Okay. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Now, if any event you say, green eyes, listen, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel. If any event you would like a personal appointment, I respond to email requests only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. Guys, if you do like what you get here, I thank you in advance for your donations, for your love, your love tokens and things of that nature. That information is below the video. There's also links for Cash App and PayPal for your convenience. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.